Hey, Bruce Jump with This is Turfgrass, back with you. Topic, what is up with fall overseeding? Why do professional turfgrass managers seed whenever possible in the fall? I've got six reasons for us to consider. They're in no particular order, but I'm going to start at number six and work my way back to number one. Why is fall the best time to seed turf, sports fields, golf courses, and lawns? Number six, watering. In the fall after Labor Day, typically we get more rainfall than we do in the summer. So starting a seeding around Labor Day to get those beautiful fall rains, get that excellent soil moisture, that's what new seedlings need. Spring seedings, we have to get those new seedlings to grow and develop over the hot, dry summer months. That's a challenge. So fall is by far the best time to seed turf and sports fields. Number five, root development. Did you know roots continue growing after the shoots stop? That's true. It's great to seed in the fall because of excellent root development and root growth even after the shoots and the tops have stopped. Remember late fall nitrogen fertilization? It is key to get the maximum potential out of those roots. Number four, disease pressure. We do have diseases in the fall, um, some leaf spot, various things, but not the big ones that we typically have when we have new seedings in the summertime. Those warm weather diseases, pythium, damping off, brown patch, dollar spot. Those can be difficult diseases to deal with. We avoid most diseases, all those hot summer diseases. When we do a fall seeding, I would much rather deal with a little leaf spot than I would with pythium and brown patch when I'm planting, say, a tall fescue lawn. So less disease pressure. Number three, less weed pressure. Yes, I know the winter annual weeds will start to germinate in the fall, but they're easier to deal with than the big grassy weed problems we have in the summertime. Here in the Midwest, we've got crabgrass. We've got goosegrass. We've got foxtail. We've got barnyard grass. Those are really difficult to manage when we're trying to grow a turf grass. So we avoid a lot of those weed issues that can be difficult to control and costly. So another reason why fall is a great time to establish turf grass. Number two, cool air temperatures. Cool season grasses love uh, cool air temperatures. And we typically have declining temperatures after Labor Day. And that is just ideal for bluegrass, ryegrass, tall fescue, and fine fescues. In the summertime, temperatures get in the 90s. Photosynthesis starts to slow down. We want photosynthesis at its maximum. And that's why fall's a great time because of the cool air temperatures. Last, and as they say, but not least, number one, it's all about warm soils. You've got to have warm soils for those seeds to germinate. 65, 60 and above, 68 to 72, ideal for soil temperatures to get these grasses to jump out of the ground. What happens in the springtime, you can have wet, cool, late winters, and it just slows seed germination down to almost a standstill we don't want that. We want seeds popping out of the ground. That's why we need warm soils. And that's what happens when you seed in the fall. So a quick recap. Number six is rainfall and watering. We get more of that in the fall time. Number five, root development. Roots continue growing after the leaves and shoots slow down. Remember late fall nitrogen fertilization. Number four, disease pressure. We got less disease to deal with and they're easier to control. Number three is weed pressure. I'd much rather deal with winter annual weeds than the big summer weeds, especially the grasses we got to fight with our new turf grass. Number two, cool air temperatures generate maximum photosynthesis potential. Great time for seeding when the uh, air temperatures are cool. And number one is soil temperatures, warm soils, cool air temperatures, plenty of rainfall, less disease, less weeds. Those are six reasons why fall seeding is used by turf grass professionals.